Hello fellow wet shavers, Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thanks for tuning in today. Today will be my last shave of 2020. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody who's found my channel, uh, and especially those who have subscribed. I'm up to 91 subscribers, grown a little bit in the last two or three weeks, so I appreciate everybody that's stopped by and decided to subscribe. If this is the first time here, or you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe below. My goal for 2021 is to grow the, continue to grow the channel, so I appreciate all the support. So it's been a crazy year for all of us, um, you know, with the pandemic and everything else. Uh, this year, uh, one of the things I did find was wet shaving. So I started wet shaving in June of this year and kind of got into it um, both feet first and haven't looked back. I started the channel um, a couple of months ago. I think in the beginning of October or sometime, sometime around there. So it's been a blast so far. Uh, I've met a lot of great people. Um, this community has been really supportive, uh, very generous. So I appreciate all the connections I've made. And again, I appreciate those of you who subscribed. And so today I'm going out of 2020 on a um, high note with Declaration Grooming's um, Opulence. And I have the matching splash. And this scent is truly outstanding. It's based on Layton. I have not smelled the original scent. Uh, I do have the scent notes. Top notes, apple, lavender, mandarin, orange, bergamot. Uh, middle notes, geranium, violet, jasmine. Base notes, vanilla, cardamom, sandalwood, pepper, patchouli, and guaiac wood. Now it's said that this is a cousin of Massacre of the Inno Innocents, uh, which I happen to have, but I think they're quite different. Um, this has a lot more of a sweet uh, scent, uh, sweet note to it with the vanilla. I mean, they both have vanilla, but um, this has, I think, more vanilla. It's more sweet. And this has cinnamon and tobacco on the top that you get. And those scent notes are not in the tobacco and cinnamon are not in the opulence. But they do share some uh, ingredients as far as scent goes. And I do see how they might be similar. But if you already have Master of the Innocents and you are on the fence about opulence, to me personally, they are different enough to want to have them both. Uh, I think this was a fitting uh, soap and soap name for the end of 2020 going into New Year's Eve here. So happy New Year's Eve. And I've already lathered up here in the bowl and I'm going to be using, let me grab it here. the Rockwell 6S, which was a gift for Christmas. And then I will be using for a brush, my Heritage Collection Merit 99.5. This is an outstanding badger brush. It's really the only badger brush I have. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you may have seen this brush, but you often probably see me using a synthetic brush. Uh, I don't have a lot of brushes in my collection. So 2021, I'm hoping to add some more brushes and um, some different razors. I know I've pretty much concentrated this first year mostly on software um, and I've got some I've enjoyed and I've kept and I've got some that I didn't enjoy as much and I kind of let go. So um, that's been one of the great things is finding the um, BST groups on Facebook so that I know I feel a little bit more confident in buying things that I'm maybe not sure of because I bought some things that I wasn't sure of that I loved and I bought some things that I wasn't sure of that there was a reason why I was unsure of it but it found a new home. So it's all worked out great. It's allowed me to kind of churn some of the soaps and try different things, and that's been a lot of fun. All right, so I'm gonna wet the face and get started. So if you happen to catch my Christmas haul video that I just posted last night, uh, you'll see that there's a lot of new stuff that will be coming to the channel. I scored big time for Christmas, uh, both from my wife, and then my mom got me a couple of things. And so I still got a couple things in the mail or a couple things from recent mail calls that I have not uh, used yet. So um, definitely gonna have some new, new stuff, new material for the channel going forward. So yesterday's shave was my first shave with that charcoal goods razor. And I'm not gonna lie, I had a rough shave. Um, I don't know what it was. I need to go back and revisit it and revisit the razor. Um, but it, it, I got more weepers than I've ever 
probably gotten in a shave. And then my face just felt, to be honest with you, beat up all day. Um, so I'm looking forward to a nice smooth shave today. And I'm not gonna go, go crazy with it. I'm gonna try to let my face recover. I probably won't shave for the next couple of days at least. I've got a three day weekend here, so I'm excited about that. We are not, we, we are not doing anything. This is gonna be just a, another night. We have a almost four year old and almost six year old, so they're not gonna make it till midnight. So we're just gonna probably do like the 9 p.m. New York ball drop and call it good. This milk steak base is very easy to work with. I really quite enjoy declaration. They do, I will say that they do, this This was probably, when I looked at the scent notes on this, this and a couple other soaps are probably uh, the most amount of scent notes that I see. Sometimes um, Scott's descriptions are, you know, a little bit more vague and it makes me a little concerned or worried about buying the soap. Um, you know, I kind of found that with uh, Big Soap Energy and um, some of the other ones that I was looking at. But all in all, as far as the soap itself goes, um, pretty good. My first declaration was the Massacre of the Innocents. And that was a recommendation to me, I think, from my buddy Josh. And i um, very glad I got that one. So that was my first foray into declaration. Which, by the way, if you are looking to pick up any of um, the declaration soaps, I was looking on the website um, for the scent description and uh, Scott is running a 20% off now, I think through the second. Um, so I guess that's probably Saturday. So anyways, 20% um, off and I think you, if you have a minimum purchase amount, um, there's free shipping, so kind of hard to beat that. I did notice a few people having some end of year clearance. I think Barrister and Mann was having some clearance. I think, um, Bull Goose is having like, I think 15% off. I'm sure there's some others, but, oh, past years. I've not bought anything past years yet, but I have looked at their site. Uh, I think they're having 20% off also. So if you didn't pick something up for Black Friday, and you're looking for a deal on something, you might wanna check those out. And I'm loving this Rockwell 6S. I mean, it's just fantastic. I really like the weight, it's very weighty. And my spray bottle, <laughs> once again, is MIA. I tell you what, my son is just, <laughs> I don't know, he gets into everything. You know, there's a big difference. I don't know if you, those of you who have kids, maybe they're still young, maybe they've grown up, maybe you remember, but uh, my daughter is almost six. There's definitely a difference between boys and girls. My son is so much more, I'm just gonna say it, destructive. I mean, he is so much more physical, um, you know, wrestling, throwing things, uh, breaking things. I mean, he's very curious. He wants to know how things work, which is really cool. Um, and he's always trying to like figure out how his toys work or what the parts do or how certain things work to make the toy do whatever. But I think that leads to his dismantling and destruction a little bit. 
we still have our Christmas tree up and I went to go turn our Christmas lights off in the, the night before last. And you got like this little workbench for Christmas with a little um, fake saw. And he had gotten some sort of styrofoam, uh, I don't know if it, my wife said it was an ornament or something. And it looked like he had gone back behind the Christmas tree and sawed it. And there was like styrofoam pieces all over the floor. So anyways, but definitely um, different having a boy than a girl. My daughter is, um, well, she's got her own uh, personality and things that she does. Uh, she's definitely not as physical and definitely was not as destructive as my son seems to be. So I'm just kind of chugging that out to different personalities and then probably a difference between boys and girls, maybe. This scent on this, by the way, is just, it is fantastic. I mean, definitely opulent. A very fitting name for this soap. So I think I'm gonna to try to pick up a couple of the other new ones. I think one of them is Convergence, which I'm not, I'm not sold on that one based on the scent description, but I like Declaration stuff and at 20% off. And then there's another new one that's also based on, it's, a, it's another dupe or inspired by scent. And I think it's a, a um, what it said, a New York based perfume house. And it said named after a street or something. So I'm not sure which one that is. I'm not a fra fragrance guy. So I've never smelled Leighton, but this is kind of inspired by or based off of. I'm using the Permasharp blade in here. This is the third use on it. So I can get three or four uses out of a blade, typically. Um, sometimes five. I don't have particularly thick beard growth or dense beard growth either. So it's easy for me, especially, I usually don't shave on the weekends. So on Monday, I have like three days growth. So I can put a brand new razor in on Mondays and then, um, if I were to use the same razor all week. So before I got some other razors, I would use the same, like the car, but I just use it Monday through Friday. So I put a new blade in on Monday and, um, and then, you know, the, it was efficient enough and the hair growth was, was light enough and um, thin enough and my hair is not particularly thick. So uh, I would be able to use the same blade for, for all five days. All right, so I'm gonna do a light third pass here. Call it good. So yeah, so this was, as I said, this was my first, you know, I just started in June, mid-June. I kind of got my, really my first um, razor, I think. I looked back and my first post on Instagram was, I think, on June 20, uh, 21st of a mail call I got from wet shaving products and I just got the soap and it was vetiver and um, then I think my next post was the next day the 22nd of June uh, I bought the Mercure 34C I, I bought the wet shave product um, vetiver and I used that and that was my first artisan purchase and that was my first DE razor and I think I was still using, I had, um, I think I said before uh, on a video, but if you're new here, you probably missed it, but I was kind of halfway in wet shaving. So I had a cartridge razor that I was still using, but I had a brush and I had some Pro Rosso soap and splash um, or aftershave product. 
and I had found the Pro Rosso at, at um, TJ Maxx one time, and I, I didn't really know what it was. I saw it, I kind of looked at it, I smelled it. They had the red, they had some white, they had some green, they had a whole bunch of it. And uh, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give this a try. And so I bought a cheap, um, like bowl and brush, like at the at my local Bymart store. Uh, I think it was like a um, Vanderhagen. And um, and then shortly after I, I bought, I got, I think my wife gave me as a gift a, um, an Edwin Jagger um, uh, badger brush. It wasn't a super high quality or expensive one, but so for like probably two or three years. So I, <laughs> I went back and I bought more of it and I had a bunch of Parasso, like green, red, white. I had, I had a ton of it. And so for like two or three years, and I would make a tub last six months. Um, in fact, I, one time I actually wrote on the, on the top, I put a date <laughs> on the top of a brand new one just to see how long it would last me. So I was using, one tub would last me five or six months. So I was doing one pass cartridge razor, so I didn't need a lot of soap. Um, but anyways, that's kind of how I halfway got into wet shaving. And then when I started to finally run out of all that, that's when I started to search for, okay, what am I gonna use? And then I'll, you know, you start, you start Google searching and then the cookies pop up and then boom, all of this stuff and there's a whole world of wet shaving opened up for me. And so anyways, that, those were my first kind of wet shaving purchases as far as razor and artisan soap. And I think my first Instagram post, June 22nd. And then I got a couple of sets for Father's Day. I got Flowers in the Dark from Dr. John's, which is still one of my favorite soaps. And I got also Wet Shaving Products Barbershop, which is a very good barbershop. And then from there, it's all been um, full throttle. So. so it's been fun. At least this part of 2020 I've enjoyed. I've been fortunate that my um, I am a pharmacist by education and I work for a retail company that has pharmacies in their stores. We're a, local, we're a Pacific Northwest retail chain and um, I now work in the office on the business end of things. So I don't practice anymore, but I am a healthcare provider. And our store carries a lot of food and other essential items. So we've been deemed an essential business through all of this. And I've been able to operate, continue to operate. So I've been fortunate from that standpoint. And I've been fortunate that none of my immediate family has uh, come down with the coronavirus, knock on wood. I only know of one distant cousin. And she was my dad's cousin. Uh, who lives in Texas, actually. They contracted it, but was able to recover. Um, so. I think we've been pretty lucky. I do worry about my sister and brother-in-law who lived down in Los Angeles, which is an area which, were, which is where I'm originally from. But so far, they've been able to avoid the Rona, as CDB calls it. All right, so we were going on almost 20 minutes here as I've been rambling on in today's shave. So I'm gonna give it a rinse and we'll give it a, give it a splash. I didn't want to do too much buffing or anything today, given my 
rough shave yesterday. Whew, man, I'm telling you, my face felt like I went through two, 10 rounds with Mike Tyson for a while there. I don't know if it was, I, I don't think it was the soap. I mean, as far as not, not having, um, you know, I mean, Highland Springs Soap Company is a good soap. I, I don't know if I was just doing something wrong with the razor, or the angle of my technique. Um, one of my um, viewers said that maybe they thought when I was showing the razor that the blade looked crooked in there, so that maybe I didn't have the blade set right. Uh, but I'd already taken it apart um, to store it and taken the blade out, so I couldn't go back and check that. So I'll have to make sure that um, I look at that next time because it was a little different the way that the post for the blade didn't come out of the head. They actually were in the um, in the base plate. So that was a little bit different. So maybe that's it. I'm, I'm hoping because that was a it's, a, it's a beautiful razor and it was expensive. <laughs> it wasn't a cheap razor. Um, but anyways, uh, let's get on with the opulent splash. Now I, declaration, uh, I think I have it underneath the sink, but so they do give you a um, synthetic menthol little plastic um, container that comes with the splash. And then it's up to you whether or not you wanna add the menthol or not. And basically the whole bottle of synthetic menthol is meant for the whole bottle of splash, but you could obviously put in as much as you want or as little as you want. For me personally, I don't put any in. Um, I prefer my, I, I do like menthol in certain situations with certain scents or certain sets, uh, but I don't like it all the time. And so I prefer not to add it. This is an alcohol based splash. I think the splash quality is really, really good with Declaration. It's right up there with the first line, I think, for me, which I think first line is, to me is the best splash quality. Um, I get the most hydration in my face um, that I use this year. But this one is, is top notch as well. Okay, that's it for the shave. Again, the end of 2020, the end of an era, hopefully the end of, you know, we're getting to the end of the virus, you know? I mean, it's getting worse. Hopefully we get over the hump, people get vaccinated, uh, we get that herd mentality and we move forward. So, um, you know, happy new year uh, coming up um, tomorrow or tonight at midnight. Again, those of you who have subscribed to me, I appreciate the support so far. Uh, those of you that were new, hopefully you found the video informative and you're will consider subscribing below. If you've subscribed already, I really appreciate it. Hopefully we'll have, a, like I said, uh, you might have seen a couple unboxings. I'll have some new fun stuff coming to the channel. So appreciate the support. I really do. And uh, I'll see you in 2021.